The Greek case study is entitled The Athens Western Hills, and it is an archaeological case study. But why the Athens Western Hills? Let me tell you the story of this place. The hills named Nyx, the Nymphs and the Muses are situated at the west side of Acropolis, and it was a place full of life, a heavily populated area. The ancient Deme of Coil and Melody reached their peak during the Classical era. The three western hills, now known as Philopapo, the Nyx and the Nymphs to the west of the rock of the Acropolis played an important role in the historical route of ancient Athens. More specifically, the Deme of Coil was one of the busiest in Athens, which gained great commercial power because it passed important roads through two gates of the Themistoclean Wall, which connected the area of the Asti with Phaleron and Piraeus. Furthermore, the ancient deme of Melody developed into one of the most densely populated demes of the city, where important personalities of public life lived, such as Themistocles, Miltiades, Kamen and others. Also, the importance of the deme of Melite is due to its direct connection with the sites of Nyx, the ancient Agra, and the Areopagus, but also its proximity to the sacred hill of the Acropolis. Finally, the rocky heights of the hills have always been a place of inspiration for the passers-by. The western hills have been incorporated from the outset into the urban environment of Athens and have since been the focus of a variety of interventions, such as stone extraction, landscaping, and afforestation, individual or collective appropriation, and visual arts. But there is also a vast archaeological reserve and noteworthy documentation material regarding the long life of the place that we will explore in this case study. Unfortunately, nowadays few of these remains are still visible. What are the problems to be solved? The first is to reconstruct the shape of the city, meaning to find the ancient houses, the graves and the cisterns for understanding the spatial context of the city. The second is to investigate the social structure of the city, meaning to find the place of the graves, to investigate the remains that constitute the form of the Themistoclean wall, to find the towers that explain the role of the wall for the defense of the city, to measure the width of the wall, and to narrate the story of the Athens Western Hills and their characteristics. We will use three data sets of vector data. The layer ancient remains that contains all remains depicted according to the map of Copert. Its geometry is linear. The attribute table contains two columns, describing the type of remains such as habitation, public space, and so on, in English and in Greek. The layer ancient remains cisterns that contains the location of cisterns. Its geometry is point. The attribute table indicates the characteristics of the object in English and in Greek. The layer wall that visualizes the area fortification of the city. Its geometry is polygonal. We also need raster data for accomplishing our goal. We will use the old map of Copert that is already georeferenced to perceive the region of our case study and a recent aerial photo for understanding the topographical transformations of the site. The goal of this case study is to apply a spheroid way of learning to learn how to choose the data we need to solve a problem. In other words, to transform the questions toward layers. Also, to familiarize you with the basic concepts and the techniques in the QGIS environment. Furthermore, to understand the different formats of representing the real world and to finally pose research questions. In this slide you can see some references relevant to the Greek case study. This was the introductory video of the Greek case study. In the next video we will explore the basic skills for working with GIS. How to create a project and check its properties, as well as how to add raster and vector layers and check their properties.